hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today i am showing you guys my apartment i am so so excited i've been wanting to show you guys an apartment tour literally ever since i moved in which if you don't know and you are new to my channel one welcome i hope you stay and subscribe and join our little family here but um i moved into my first apartment in june and it's now november so i've lived here for a little bit now almost six months and i love it my apartment is so cute so cozy so warm um but yeah it's been a long time coming um furnishing this apartment and getting it to how i would like it um it is literally only a one bedroom so this video won't be too long i'm hoping um but i did leave a link to everything down below majority of like the big furniture like staple pieces um just leave a comment if you want to know where something like little is unless like i say it um i will let you guys know where everything is from but if you'd like to see my apartment then keep on watching okay so here is the door the floor does creak so when i walk around that is the noise that you will hear but here is the door when you first walk in i just have this little rug from ikea um and then if you turn this way that is the kitchen so i guess i can show you guys that first because it's the least exciting um so here it is i have a water machine right here which i think is from costco that my mom gave me because like i don't like the brita filter because i drink a lot of water so this holds five gallon bottles of water and i just fill up my hydro flask as i go and then on top i just have a napkin holder <laughs> um, I think this is also from Ikea along with the napkins and then here is my fridge just have some just random stuff up top some pre-workout um, protein the box that my toaster came in um, this thing that I put ice in whenever I make a lot of ice um, here is my fridge I guess I can show you guys so my fridge looks like nothing exciting um, but yeah and then over here have my stove, have my Keurig, um, my toaster, like I said, um, down there I keep like my pots and pans. Um, and here is like my spices and like baking stuff. Um, over here I have dish towel, my utensil holder, which this is from at home. No, this is from home goods, I think. And then these are just from random places. Um, up there I keep more like pans and stuff. And then back over here, I have my little pantry area. So not very organized. I tried, but it's not a big space. So I just kind of threw everything here. But I did have this little area organized. Um, got some oatmeal, popcorn, snacks. <laughs> but there is my pantry area. And then down there, I keep like some reusable bags. And like I have a folding chair that I need to take back to my mom's. Um, then over here... Got my microwave. Um, I have this little fruit bowl that has no fruit in it. Um, this is also from Ikea. Um, the sink. There's just not really anything exciting in there. Um, yeah, I just did some dishes, so that's there. Um, here's where I keep like my plates and my bowls. Um, all my plates are from Ikea, of course. Um, and then I have these really cute plates that my grandma bought for me. They are from either HomeGoods or TJ Maxx. So, and then I have some little Tupperware stuff up there. And then over here, this is my favorite cabinet. It's my coffee mug and like to go cup cabinets. So, here's some of my mugs. And then I have like Starbucks cups, uh, my tumbler, things like that. And then over here is where I keep my trash. I have a lot of trash that I really need to take out. Um, and then I have these little bags that I use to put like my lunch in and stuff. I think those are from Ikea as well. And this is what I like about my kitchen. It has like this hutch thing, this really old built-in hutch. Um, my apartment was built in like the 1920s, <laughs> so it's really old. But I really like this hutch thing because it does keep a lot of stuff and it is dirty. Um, it's stained. Like I've cleaned this, doesn't come clean, so we're just going to leave it. Um... But I have this really old saltine cracker tin that actually has saltine crackers in it. Um, my flour and sugar, which those things are from Ikea. And then I just have a cute little cutting board back there. Um, it's from a store called Home Emporium. I don't know if they have those stores other places. And then over here, let me back up and show you guys. It's like a clear cabinet. There's not much space over here, so it might be kind of weird to show you. But I keep 
some jars of stuff just different things like as you can see i put labels on them so i got baking soda um powdered sugar pancake mix brown sugar coffee rice trail mix and cereal which i don't even eat that cereal but yeah and then up here i just have like more jars and stuff um i use jars as you can see for like food and also i'll put like some fruit in there as well to put in the fridge um and i have like some more little jars that i like to use for like my plant propagations and then over here is where I keep like my kitchen rags and kitchen towels. And then there's two more shelves up there, but it's literally just random stuff that's not important. And then over here, I do have a fire escape, which we're not really allowed to use, obviously, unless there's a fire. So I just put the stuff over here. Um, I have my gallon of water that I was talking about earlier. Um, my like mop and broom. And then I hang like extra plastic bags right there. And then underneath here is where I keep a whole bunch of random stuff, in case you guys are wondering. Um, I have some extra pots, um, my lunch pail, the crock pot, my rice maker, some bug spray, um, a little dust pan. Yeah, nothing too exciting except for the pots. And then coming back out the kitchen, this rug is from Ikea. I love it. It's so cute. Um, coming back out, you see my little desk area which i've neglected <laughs> but um over here this is just like the little entry table have some random mask uh, hand sanitizer a cute little plant um this little table is from target like a few years ago so i don't even think they sell it anymore and then over here i have my little polaroid wall that has just a whole bunch of polaroids from like the last five years of my life but this is where i keep my desk so my desk is from target and then this chair is from i don't really know because i bought it off of somebody um on facebook marketplace but i just think it looks really cute i just have my backpack on there and i just have some random like books and journals right there um my lamp and also this is a dining table like i said this place was built in 1920 so there is a dining table that comes out of the wall but i don't use it so that's why i put my desk right here but then over here sorry for the lighting <laughs> but this is where i keep my mirror as you can see this is the big o ikea mirror and then over here i just have my little fiddle leaf which is not doing very well um yeah we're not going to talk about it but on this little window seal, I keep all of my succulents and cacti. So as you can see, I got a whole bunch right here. They get a lot of sun, as you can tell from this window, so they love it so much. Um, and then this is my Christmas tree. I haven't put it up yet, but it's just chilling right there. Um, then coming over here, I have this tapestry of the United States. Um, it is from... Urban Outfitters I love it it's so cute and then I have this little table over here which is from Ikea with two little plants on it and some tissues and stuff and then this is my couch and like main living area I'll give you guys a little overview so my couch is from Ikea <laughs> Um, I just have that pillow right there, which is from Home Goods, and then these two pink pillows are from Ikea as well. This um, throw blanket is from Target. I've had it for a while. That little blanket is from Target as well. I've had that for a while. Um, but yeah, I like this couch. It works for this um, apartment, but whenever I move, I think I will get a new couch <laughs> because it's comfortable, but it's just not worth it um don't recommend um but over here i keep some more plants as you can tell plants are my thing um this is just a little overview of my plants i won't really go too in depth because this is not a plant tour but i just have these plants over here i have this hanging plant over here and more over here so i have those little baskets you'll see those are from ikea i have that cute little sign that my grandma gave me um here are some of my propagations and this little bench is from the thrift store so i can't link that for you guys and then coming back over here just have my laptop my phone over there here's my coffee table my coffee table is from target it is part of the hearth and hand brand so 
I really love it. It's so cute. I waited so long to get it because it was out of stock for the longest time ever. So I had to wait. But here are some things I have on my coffee table. I have some pumpkins <laughs> that I still need to put away because I'm tired of fall decor. Um, but this little basket is from Target. All of those pumpkins are also from Target. And then the basket is just like keep my remote, my little fidget cube, some chapstick. And then I have these marble, excuse my ashy hands, oh my gosh. Um, I have these marble coasters that are from World Market. And I just have a little plant over here and that cute little pot is from Michael's. And then coming this way towards the TV wall, as you can see I have a fan because it does get hot in here sometimes even though there is a ceiling fan. Um, just have a cute little vintage camera hanging up there. Another snake plant, which I got from Ikea. They have really good plant selections. Um, and then my TV stand, which is also from Ikea. I feel like literally my whole apartment's from Ikea. But um, just have some decorations over here. I have this rock that I found so many years ago. Um, when I was little, I used to collect rocks, as you can see. Um, I'll show you guys in a minute that I have a jar of just rocks. But this rock is really cool. As you can see, it has like holes and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I have this vase that has some dried grain, I think. Um, the vase is from Hobby Lobby, I wanna say. I can't really remember. Um, and then down here, I guess I can show you guys what's in here. Um, I just have my Bible right there and this cute little basket that I found at the thrift store for like 50 cents one day. Um, in here, I keep all of my tech stuff, so my camera, all my chargers, um, extra film, um, yeah, just literally every tech thing you could think of. And then over here, I have some more vintage cameras. And in here, I keep my candles, some essential oils, like my wax melts, um, a lighter. And then this next little area, I have my Polaroid, I have a puzzle, I have Mancala, which used to be my favorite game ever growing up, and that's the same game that I've had my whole life. Um, I have this cute little um, skull that I got from Mexico. Um, and this drawer just has a whole bunch of pictures and picture albums in it. And then over here, which is one of my favorite areas as well, I have my watering can, which is from Ikea, my little wax warmer, which is from Target, and then this cute little plant, like tiered shelf, is from Ikea as well, along with just some random plants. And then I also have some plants along this window seal. And then I also have some hanging up here. But now moving on to one of the main features in my living room, which I've been waiting to get and get together before I film this video. Um, so here it is. This shelf is from Ikea as well. Um, it's really cute. I really got it for plants. I plan on getting some grow lights to put underneath so that I can put more plants on this shelf and they'll be able to grow because they'll have light. We can start at the top shelf. I have this picture of my grandma and I um, and then my neon pothos which is doing really well up here. It loves to just trail down. And on the second shelf I have another vintage camera, another one of these little pots that I showed you earlier. Um, did I say another picture of my grandma and I? I can't remember. That is obviously me when I was a baby. Um, and then I just have some random books. And then on the next shelf, I have one of my favorite Christmas candles. My um, essential oil diffuser. Um, more books. These are like the newest books to my collection that I've been reading. And then in here, this is the biggest basket. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of candy from Halloween. And then on this shelf, I have one of my plants right here. And I have this really cute picture frame that has no picture in it yet, but we're working on that. And then I have my speaker right here that's just charging. That's why it's sitting right here. And then I have this basket, which I just got a few days ago. Um, I got it from Home Goods. It's a Ray Dunn basket. Um, it literally says stuff. Um, the lighting is really bad sorry it says stuff but like I feel like that's kind of cheesy so I just turned it the other way so that you didn't see it but basically in this basket I keep a whole bunch of plant 
supplies so i just have some extra um water liners or whatever they're called i have my water meter um some pruning spears or <laughs> some pruning shears um yeah just random stuff spray bottle and then these things that are a lifesaver if you have plants and you're having a gnat problem they're sticky traps so they catch the gnats on them so those are really nice to have so i just keep that stuff right there but yeah so that is basically my living room i'll give you guys another little overview okay but now we're going to move on to the bedroom which isn't as cute i've been working on it but um it's really not that important honestly but here i have this little basket i used to keep my laundry in it but now i keep blankets in it um it is from ikea and then i have a film camera just hanging right there and then i have some extra um bags that i just take with me wherever i go just you know random purses and stuff um oh let me give you a little overview of my room okay so starting over here i have my yoga mat and a roller um this is my dresser so as you can tell probably my dresser from ikea um i just have these pants right here that i need to return to old navy but as I was talking about earlier, here are my rocks. So those are some of the rocks that I've kept from my childhood. As you can see, I have like a sand dollar and like this really big shell right here. So I mean, pretty cool. And then I just have this cool um, snake plant right here that's in this like Picasso pot. And then over here I have this thing. I don't know what to call it. Um, my mom and I made this like forever ago out of an old mirror. So we just put chicken wire in the back as you can see. And now you just use clothespins and you can hook things to it and it's really cool. I just have some little things that like mean stuff to me. Like I have that little cactus thing, a picture of when I graduated high school, a picture of my cousin, a sticker from Jamaica when my mom went, um, a flower that one of my best friends made me in like the seventh grade that I've kept forever, some Polaroids, a picture of my grandma and my grandpa, um, this little keychain, funny story, um, I'll flip around and tell you guys a story about that keychain. Um, I got that keychain in my Interpreting the African Past class um, spring semester of this year, 2020, when uh, life went to shit. Um, but anyways, before that happened, um, in that class, the teacher is what the professor is or was. I don't know if he still is, but he was an ambassador for Africa or something like that. And um, basically, we were playing a game where we had to name all of the i'm gonna sound so stupid all of like the countries within africa and um yeah so i named all of them i got them all correct so i got that little um keychain of africa he said that he actually got those from africa and that whenever he goes and visits he um buys a whole bunch so that he can give them to his students so cool i don't know if you guys even care <laughs> But then up here, I just have some of these little Mickey Mouse things, um, this little license plate thing that says my name, a dried flower, and then these used to be my grandma's perfumes that I just keep right there. And then I have a huge stack of more books because I am a book lover. I am the person who just goes and buys books and forgets to read them, but <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. So I just have some few books right there. Um, over here I keep my suitcase and then that's just a whole bunch of stuff I need to like donate or sell. And then along this window seal, as you can see, more books. Um, also some plants and then I have these cute little stuffed animal bears, whatever. And then here is my bed. So I have a weighted blanket on the end. Um, let's wait for the... Okay, now that the sirens are gone, um, here's my bed. There is a weighted blanket right here. Um, my bedding is from Ikea. 
Um, I have this pillow right here that's from Target from like a few years ago. I just have two stuffed animals I've had my whole life. Um, I always keep my pajamas from the night before on my pillow right there. And I just have that cute little sign above my bed, which is also from Target. Um, and then coming this way, here's my closet. It's not very big and it's not very cute. Um, just keep my shoes right here. The shoe holder I think is from Walmart. Um, more shoes, random stuff down there. All of my clothes um, up here. I keep some towels and washcloths. And then I think there's books <laughs> in that crate back there. But yeah, the closet is nothing exciting. Um, over here I have my wall macrame thing that I got from like the flea market um, a few years ago. Coming over here, I have my laundry, and then I have this Alex 9 drawer, which is also from Ikea. I'm not going to show you what's in here because it's not exciting, and it's very unorganized. Like, I'll just show you what's in the top part. Literally just random stuff. Like, I have, like, all this makeup stuff, but I literally don't wear makeup, so don't know why I have it. And then up here, I just keep... Um, this mirror, lint roller, some lotion, um, some jewelry in there, some perfume, and then going over here, this is my little Christmas bin that I started. You guys will see more of that during Vlogmas, so make sure you're subscribed. <laughs> but I have this cube shelf thing that is also from Target, and in here I just have a whole bunch of random stuff so that is like my little art area that I have just like paint paint brushes um that is a why am I drawing a blank heating pad because you know being a girl is not fun um I have some extra makeup wipes extra eyeglass wipes um just extra bathroom stuff in there so there's like a loofah lotion um deodorant um I don't even know random stuff that's a puzzle um, that one has school stuff, so like some textbooks, some notebooks, um, stuff like that. That has more like art stuff in it because I like to do crafts. Once again, more like art stuff. I have pens, pencils, washi tape, thumbtacks, um, paper clips. <laughs> and then up here, have some more lens wipes, just some random stuff in there, a little change jar. And this just has random papers in it as well. And then coming over here... If it'll focus um have a trash can as you can see i missed the trash can so yeah um i have my nightstand my nightstand is from ikea as well i just have a few things on top i have this plant my salt lamp that i really love this little book that i've had for a while q a a day for five years and then i just have like my two journals right there um yeah here is my AC <laughs> that I don't really need to have on because it is winter um but I do just have a few plants up here um I can show you guys what's in here okay camera died but basically I was just showing you what was in my nightstand so I just literally have the most random stuff I have a this thing comes out which is cool but I have a whole bunch of random stuff like here's some film my apple watch which I don't wear anymore because it's like broken and doesn't work and then in that drawer I just keep like medicine and boring stuff but yeah so that is an overview of my room and then here is a mirror so here my this mirror is like built in to the door um so it's kind of jacked up looking but this is my bathroom in case you're wondering where the heck the bathroom was here is the bathroom um it has this little hook right here for my towel um, yeah, the bathroom's not a very exciting place. I'll just tell you where a few things are from. That's from Target, 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 shower curtain. Also from Target, and then I have this little shelf right here, which is from Ikea, and as you can see, it holds all my bathroom junk. Um, my towels are also from Target. Um, here is the sink. Once again, the bathroom is not exciting. Um, I have a medicine cabinet, in case you're wondering what I keep in my medicine cabinet. <laughs> and then over here, I have like my hand soap, which is from Target, my spray bottle, which is from Amazon, um, this holder thing 
which is from Ikea um, the thing for my hair and then I have an aloe vera plant um, but yeah here's my shower um, yeah I have this cool hanger thing that's from Amazon that really comes in handy because it literally holds all my stuff including like my razor so that's so yeah so that is my apartment i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already if you want to know where anything in my apartment is make sure to check the description down below and if it's not there just leave a comment and i will definitely get back to you guys on where it is from but i really hope you guys enjoyed seeing my apartment i do plan on doing a plant tour um eventually so next time I will go more in depth with the type of plants that I have. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my apartment. I hope it was as good as I've been trying to hype it up to be. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.